Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the bearings on your TDZ 105 HL. Now first thing you're going to need is the reel. You're going to need a small screwdriver, a spool, pin, a spool pin removal tool. This one that I use is from Hedgehog Studios. Um, you can get this on eBay or any Japanese online tackle stores. You're going to need a coin, a fishing hook, some uh, real lube. The one that I like to use is the Boca Lightning Lube High Speed Oil. This oil is specially formulated for stainless steel and ceramic bearings. It's uh, has a very low viscosity. It's very ideal for, uh, for the fishing reel purpose. We're also going to need some electrical tape. And that's it. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the bearings from the package. This is the set of bearings that you want to order. You can order them from www.bokabearings.com. Let's take the bearings out. There's two bearings in the package. One is for the side plate and the other one is for the spool. Now before we install the bearings, we're going to do some prep work. Now you see there are seals on the bearings. The first thing we're going to do is to remove the seals so we can put some oil in it. Now if you are going to run your reel in places with a lot of sediment, I would strongly suggest you to only remove one seal and after you put the oil in it and put the seal back on. But if you're like me and fish on the boat a lot, you can run the uh, bearings without the seals. This will allow the bearings to run more freely and it's going to spin faster. There, all the seals are removed. The next thing we're going to do is to put a drop of oil in each bearing. There we go. Now to access the bearings inside the reel, we're going to have to remove the side plate. You see, there's a big screw on the side. We're going to use the coin and remove the side plate just by unscrewing the big screw. Once it's loose, you can just undo it with your fingers. Once the screw pops out, twist the side plate and remove it. The spool should come out as well. We're going to put the frame away. The two bearings we're going to be replacing would be one, the one on the spool and the one on the side plate. The first bearing we're going to be replacing is the one on the side plate. You're going to see that there's a bearing retainer holding the bearing in place. What we want to do is to press the finger, press the finger on half of the retainer and then use a small screwdriver to take the retainer out. The reason to put the finger on the retainer is we don't want the retainer from flying out. Remove the old bearing and put the new one in. And then just reinstall the retainer. One down. The next bearing we're going to be removing is the one on the spool. You can see that the bearing is being held by a spool pin. First, we're going to take a piece of electrical tape, put it on the spool. This is going to prevent the spool pin removal tool from scratching the spool lip. You're going to see that there's two ends to the spool bearing removal tool. There's the blunt end and there's the pointy end. The pointy end is for removal and the blunt end is for installation. Line the removal tool with the spool pin and just turn. Once 
Once the spool pin becomes loose, we can just remove it with our fingers. Take the bearing out and put the new one in. Just like that. Put the spool pin back in. Reverse the spool pin tool. Make sure the blunt side goes in. Line the tool up. And then start turning. Turn until there's equal lengths of the spool pin sticking out of each side of the spool shaft. Just a little bit more. And there, it's done. Remove the tape and we're going to put the reel back together. Put the spool in bearing side in first and put the side plate back on just like that and just turn with your fingers and tighten the screw with the coin The advantages of switching the bearings to bokeh bearing is it has an easier startup. So in turn, it's actually going to give you a longer casting distance and a more consistent cast. It's going to give you less backlashes as well. In order to order your bearings, you can go to www.bokehbearings.com. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helps you. Thank you very much.